Okay, so it's here. <coughs> Charlie has literally just left. Uh, motorcycle rescuer. Um, I'll link his page down the bottom if you're not following him because uh, he's fucking awesome. And the reason he's awesome is for one, he's pointed out I swear a lot. <laughs> uh, for two, he's just dropped this off. So ZL600 Eliminator that he's uh, had a few attempts at in a few plays. And now it's somebody else's time and fortunately that somebody else is me and I am really chuffed um, and he dropped it off as well which is just Charlie all over really bear in mind he dropped off my first project bike as well that he was kind enough to pick up for me because it was closer to him than me um, Kaiser Star um, I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on this um, it is a beast it is beautifully beautifully ugly uh, and bear in mind that's my normal bike, uh, 900 diversion. I'm a big fan of beautifully ugly bikes. Um, I've not done a cruiser before. Uh, there's nothing new or Fandango about me doing new things because I've never done a scooter before either. Um, that one's going pretty well. Um, yeah, what am I going to do? Car kit. Whether or not I get that off tonight. Um, Charlie mentioned the battery's quite low, so and the tank's not connected because um, he's been just pouring the fuel straight in through a filter uh, <laughs> I've got a free screwdriver from Charlie <laughs> you have it back if you want it mate um, yeah that's the vacuum uh, joke yeah so if, uh, if that's in that means the tank's not connected no it's not right okay I'll just lift the tank off um, so I whip the tank off um, stick the battery on charge overnight uh, and if I can get away with it the missus I will uh, endeavour to have a go at those carbs tonight I think um, yeah probably once the kids gone to bed um, first impressions yeah so Charlie's mentioned in on his videos about the paintwork um, I'm with him I love the patina on it uh, yeah do the clean up whatever but um Will I bother repainting it, respraying it? I really don't want to. Uh, I think it's quite genuine. Sounds a bit wet, but it's quite genuine. I don't like this age that it looks like that. Um, I don't see a problem with it myself. The tank is a different issue. It's a little bit beaten. The paintwork is worse. So <clears throat> we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, one bit that surprised me. The girth on these grips is massive, so bear in mind I've got um, I've got uh, heated grips uh, on my normal bike. It should make them a little bit thicker. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean I've got quite big hands as well, and it's kind of swallowing up my hands. But um, but yeah, um, power's on, power works. Fuel's not connected, so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Right, so if I can get away with it, carbs off. Um, I might film some of the carb work. I don't know. Um, I'll see how it goes. Um, but as far as crossovers from one uh, YouTuber to another, uh, Charlie, motorcycle rescuer, um, God. Um, thanks very much, mate. Well, happy. Ta da. Right, okay, so carbs off. Dodgy pod type filters over there. Carbs off by the back door, just draining out for the last bit before I take them in the kitchen. Battery on charge. Um, and the only reason to fill it really is just because I'm going to christen it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Ernie. Ernie Eliminator. Um, good night, Ernie. Um, I say good night, Ernie. I'm taking part of you into the kitchen. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a crack at the carbs tonight, I think. Uh, and just see how I get on them, see if I can do that refit kit. Um, I may film some of it. I may not. I might just crack on and get on with it and drop it back in. Uh, if you want to look at a carb rebuild, um, there's one on my earlier piece uh, on the GPZ500 that I did a rebuild on. It's only two carbs rather than four, but um, principles presumably the same. Um, yeah, feel free to have a look. Um, just keep scrolling through till you see something bright green and it'll be in there somewhere. Cheers now.